Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create your own dot patterns using GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.22 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here. You can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member, and I have tons of free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And as I mentioned, you can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so let's dive right in here. As you can see, I have GIMP opened up, and I also have my bucket fill tool selected from my toolbox with the fill type set to pattern fill. So let's come over here to my patterns dialog. This should be open for everybody by default. And I created a bunch of dot patterns ahead of time. And so I'll just pick a random one and I can click to fill in the pattern layer that I'm on right now with this pattern. So this is just one of the numerous dot patterns I can create using the methods from this tutorial. Let's go with another random one here. There's another. And by the way, I have a 40 dot patterns pack available to my DMD premium subscribers. But for starters, I'll create my template file. So I'll go to file new. And I've noticed that 60 by 60 templates fit pretty well inside of 1920 by 1080 documents. You can go with whatever size you want to though here. So 100 by 100, 120 by 120, 300 by 300, whatever you want to do really. But I'll go with this size and click OK and hold control and zoom in with my mouse wheel. And the next thing I like to do is add some guides here, some center guides. So I'll go to image, guides, new guide by percent, and let's just go with 50% horizontal, click OK, image, guides, new guide by percent, and we'll go with vertical this time, click OK. So now we have some center guides. Next, I'm gonna create a new layer to put our dot patterns on. And this one I'll just name dot, and I'm gonna fill this with transparency and click OK. So this first method will be the simplest method. I'll come over here and grab the ellipse select tool and click and drag to create an ellipse in the center of my composition. And let me come over here. I like to go with a 30 by 30 ellipse and making sure both the dimensions of the ellipse are the same so we get a perfect circle. And now I need to fill this in with the color. I can really go with any color, but I'm just gonna go with black to simplify things. So there is the black color there. I'll hit Control Shift A to deselect that. And if I come over here and hide the background layer, there we have our first dot pattern. I can hit Control C to copy that. And if I scroll up here inside of my patterns dialog, the very top option is actually the clipboard image option which means that anything you copy to your clipboard can now instantly become a pattern. This is just a great way to test out your patterns as you're designing them. But now I'll come over to the blank document I created. You guys can just go to File, New, and create a 1920 by 1080 document if you also wanna test out your patterns. But I'll hit Shift B on my keyboard to grab my bucket fill tool, make sure pattern fill is selected, and with clipboard image checked, I can click to fill this in, and there you can see a live preview of that pattern. So let's come back over here. That was the first pattern style. If I wanted this to be more dense and also a seamless pattern, I can come over here and just duplicate that dot layer. And then I can hit the forward slash key on my keyboard or just go to help search and run a command. And then inside of here, I'll type offset and double click. This is gonna bring up the offset tool so now I'll come over here and just go with by width over two, height over two. So that's gonna offset this to the corners. And I'll come over here and click OK. The reason I copied this layer or duplicated this layer is so that we have the dot in the middle. If you don't want the dot in the middle, you can always just hide it like that. But I'm gonna keep the dot in the middle for now. And now once again to test this out, I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard. But because we have two layers, I have to do copy visible. The shortcut key for that is Control shift c or simply go to Edit, Copy Visible, and then we'll come over here, Control z to undo that first pattern we did, grab the Bucket Fill tool, and click to fill this in. So there you can see it is slightly more dense, and it's going to go all the way to the edge this time. 
So control Z to back up, that's method number two. Let's come back over here. So if I wanted to start creating a more complex pattern, I can do so using something called the symmetry painting feature. So let me open that up by going to windows, dockable dialogues, symmetry painting. By default, this is set to none. But if I click on here, I have three options. So mirror, tiling, and mandala. Let's come over here to mirror to start with. And I'm gonna check the first three options. So horizontal symmetry, that's gonna paint the same thing on the top and bottom. Vertical symmetry, the same thing on the left and right. And then central symmetry, just make sure that everything is going to be totally reflected along all four quadrants here. And by default, this should be set to exactly halfway. So in this case, it's 60 by 60. So these little lines are gonna be at 30 by 30. I'll come over and grab my paintbrush tool. And what you can do is set your paintbrush to any size and any shape really. But in this case, we're doing dot patterns. So I'm gonna go with a circular shape. So this brush right here. Set the size to whatever you want. I'll go with a smaller brush size, but let's just increase this a bit to eight. Hit the enter key. And finally, make sure your hardness is set to 100. That's gonna give you a nice hard edge here. So once you have that figured out, what you can do is come over here, create a new layer. Let's name this dot small, hit the enter key, and come over to the lines here. And if I click once, you'll see you're gonna get that reflected across the other side automatically. And same for up top here, so just click once. And there you can see that's automatically reflected and you can do that anywhere here. So I can randomly click and there you see we have a much more complex design there. So control shift C to copy that. Let's come over here, shift B on the keyboard to grab the bucket fill tool and then I'll click to fill this in. And there you can see the result of that. So I'll hit control Z to back up, come back over here. Let's control Z to undo that. And actually let's just delete everything here and start over. So create a new layer. We'll just name this dots, click okay. So let's go with the different symmetry option. This time we'll go with Mandala. And now if I grab my paintbrush tool, come over to one of these lines and click, you'll see this time it's going to create six different dots here. So you got three on the top, three on the bottom. I could also come over here and single click for a middle dot. Control C to copy that because we only have one layer this time. Shift B, click, and there we get a live preview of that. Let me just come back here to our template. So once you're finished designing your dot pattern, you're gonna wanna save it as a pattern file so that you can import it into GIMP and use it during any of your GIMP sessions. And one thing I wanna mention before I dive into that is to make sure you turn off the symmetry painting. So make sure you turn that to none. Otherwise, every time you try to paint from now on with the paintbrush tool, it'll just do a symmetry painting, even if you close this out. So make sure you set that to none before you proceed. But once you're ready to export this as a pattern file, you're gonna to go to File, Export As. And here you can see I've already saved this one, so I'll just create a dot pattern from Tutorial 2. Make sure it ends in .pat. And come over here and hit Export. And the description by default is just gonna show up as whatever you named your dot pattern as. You could change this to whatever, but the description is what's gonna show up here inside of your Patterns dialog. I'll go with the default and hit export. And I do wanna mention that the background will show up if you keep this unhidden. So if you prefer to have a transparent background like I have, go ahead and keep that hidden. Otherwise you can keep this unhidden and set the color to whatever you want and that will show up in the final pattern. I do show you how to import pattern files into GIMP using my seamless pattern tutorial, which I will link to this tutorial. So if you wanna learn how to do that, definitely check that video out. But that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.